Hi guys, welcome back to Nyana's Delight. This week's recipe is a special request from my sister Sheila. Hi Sheila. <laughs> Let's get right into it, we're making scones. For this recipe, you'll need 4 cups of all-purpose flour, unsalted butter 125 grams, 1 egg that has been chilled, 1 cup of milk, 4 tablespoons of sugar, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, 2 teaspoons of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. Start by mixing the wet ingredients. In a separate jar, add your milk, the egg, the vanilla extract, and mix it all together. Set this aside and mix your dry ingredients. Start with the flour, Sugar, baking powder, and the salt. Sift this all together to make sure you don't have any lumps. Once you've sifted your flour, add the butter. And then using your hands, mix it all together until it's well combined. This is the kind of consistency that you're looking for. Your flour should look a little bit like breadcrumbs. When the flour and butter are ready, then add the raisins and mix it all together. Then make a well in the middle of the flour and pour your wet ingredients. Mix this all together for a minute or two and then transfer your dough to your wax surface. Do not worry about the mess in your fingers, it's all part of the process. Sprinkle some flour on your wax surface and then transfer your dough. Do not overwork the dough. Simply fold it a few times until it is smooth and then roll it out. Using a rolling pin, roll out your dough until it's about a centimeter and a half to two centimeters. Using a cookie or biscuit cutter, cut into the dough as many rounds as possible. I like to dip my cookie cutter into some flour before using it so that it's easier to separate the dough from the cutter.
place the cutout door on a line baking sheet. Brush the tops with egg wash and sprinkle some sugar. Bake these at 180 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the scones are golden brown. Serve and enjoy the scones with some butter and jam or chocolate, any topping of your choice. And there you have it, and they're delicious. Eat them with some butter and jam, and oh my god, you're going to absolutely love them. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments below what you think. See you next week. Goodbye.